Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. In this episode, we're gonna take a look, look at a quick tip on how to extend your background in Photoshop. It's a quick one, so I hope you get something out of it. So let's take a look at this portrait. And as you can see, I shot it in portrait orientation where it's taller than it is wide. But then what I wanted to do was actually post it on Instagram, which is a square aspect ratio. The problem is I didn't want to crop anything and therefore lose part of my portrait. So the best way to do this is to simply extend the background. And I have a nice wall over here on the left hand side that's easy to extend. So let's take a look. First thing we need to do is get it in the proper aspect ratio. Now you notice over here on the right hand side, we've got the background layer. So I have not converted it to a layer or anything. It's just the background. And what I'm going to do now is go ahead and switch to the crop tool. And luckily in the crop tool, there's already a square aspect ratio right there waiting for us. So I just pick square and now Photoshop knows that anytime I drag to keep this constrained to a square, I also have unchecked the delete crop pixel. So I did that first. Now what I'm going to do is just simply um, pull the left handle over to the left because that's what I'm going to extend out. So I'm just pulling it until both the top and bottom match or snap to the top or bottom of the image. And that's it. I click OK. And my background has now been converted into a layer for me automatically in that process. And I still can undo, recrop, go back if I ever need to because I did not delete those pixels. But nonetheless, I can now go in and simply extend the background. So the easiest way for me to do this is grab the um, rectangular marquee tool. I'm just going to make a rectangular selection of this left hand wall up to the hand. In other words, don't include the fingers, just go all the way down to the part that you want to extend. So from top to bottom, I've now got that spot. And the next thing I'm going to do is duplicate that selection onto its own layer. So the easiest way to do that on the Mac, it would be Command J, PC, Control J. So now that layer is there all by itself, just that piece of wall. So on that layer, now I'm gonna do a free transform. So we'll go up to our edit menu, come down to free transform or command T on Mac, control T on Windows, and that will give us handles. And this is just all we have to do is go ahead and extend the background because this is something that can easily repeat. And so now that we've got it extended, we just simply click the checkbox or hit return. And now that wall has been extended and I've now got my square photo. So if I save this out as a JPEG or save for web, I'll have a perfectly square aspect ratio photo with the extended background without me having to fill it with a color or do anything weird. It looks like that's the way the picture was taken. So that's how you can extend your background if you've got something that's easily repeatable using Photoshop uh, CC or CS6 would work the same way. And that's it for this quick tip on how to extend your background. Thanks for watching this episode. We'll catch you on the next one.